Nice, got a hard clue scroll. Turn that in and get myself a master clue from Watson. Seriously, this is not the same clip that I recorded like a minute ago. Alright guys, so I decided I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this rogue set just because it's so quick nowadays to actually get it. You know, I've heard many people say under an hour, which is pretty crazy. Yeah, let's see how long it takes for me to get the full set. Yes! Alright guys, I am almost done. This should be my fourth crate. Well, it's actually my fifth, but I accidentally chose the wrong thing the first time. So, gonna get the boots now. And yeah, just gotta get the gloves. And we're done! Alright, this potentially can be the last one. Yes! Oh man, that's so fast, guys, to uh, finish this rogue set. I remember... When people, you know, talked about this before they uh, made rogue stuff a lot more uh, easier to get, like people were saying, it took hours and hours. But honestly, to get the five pieces, it took me less than an hour. I guess that's because I had the, you know, shortcut thing because I'm 80 plus thieving. Still, I mean, if it takes you like one or two hours to get this set, in the long run, I, I would suppose that it's worth it, anyways. There we go. Let me close that. Dang, unfortunate. Oh, elite clue scroll. Okay. All right, let's open up this master clue. I'm on a sea of elite clues. Here we go. Oh my god, dude! I just got fucking Ronin's haircut. Yo, what? I didn't even know this was a master clue reward. Shit. I I've never gotten it so clearly. That is uh, a unique item, bro. Oh, dude! Instant hair change right there. Now I'm blonde. Nice. There we go. It's getting a uh, kind of filled. I would say maybe a third of the way filled. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Get that search. Yeah, nice. 86 thieving guys. God, I love the RD nights, man. They're so good. I would say they're too good, but can't really complain about being too good right now because I'm still leveling. So. I need 5 more levels to go for 91, but yeah. I think I should be able to wrap up on the Steven Grab by next week just because it's pretty nice to uh, do this while I'm reading for like homework assignments, so it's, yeah, not bad. So I've been doing quite a bit of court recently and that allowed me to restock back up on my own expo. So I got about 2.6k, which means a little bit over 20 mil. Probably gonna out those as much as I can while I'm training to the 86 agility for the diaries. Alright, just encountered a, a new Master Clue stuff after Fossil Island came out. So I gotta get these uh, Numa lights. Got a unique before, let's get another one hopefully. Well, uh, nope. No uniques there. Oh my god, I got a long bone? GG. Silly. Yep, of course I don't get a drop. Oh shit, Elite Clue though, nice. Alright, here's another Elite Clue. Maybe I'll get a unique item this time. Here we go. Oh man, oh, that's pretty plain reward, but uh, okay. 200k reward, nice, good ox. We'll have to definitely take that without complaints here. Oh my goodness, holy shit. I'm actually gonna get two thieving levels in one day. Oh my god, already nice is so nice. Oh man, okay, 87 thieving guys, just four more to go. 412k, which is like at this rate about two hours, uh, maybe a little bit over. But yeah, it's so chill and easy, you know, just do whatever else on the side and just randomly click. <laughs> so I want to be able to use my music cape again, and what that means is I have to unlock all the new music tracks from Fossil Island. So there's a bunch of music tracks that I need to unlock, and there's one in particular that actually requires me to do some work at Fossil Island to unlock, and that is the Volcanic Mine. So in order to access that new area for the music, I actually need to get 180 kudos, and currently I'm max kudos before the update, which is, I believe, like 154. So that means I need 26 more kudos points from Fossil Island in order to unlock the final music piece. And the way to gather these new kudos from Fossil Island is to, as the name suggests, gather fossils and basically build a complete uh, fossil so I think it's about two kudos points per completed set 
So with my current knowledge, I believe the fastest way to get the fossils from Fossil Island is actually cutting these like mushrooms in the uh, swamp place where uh, you know a friend died at. So it's gonna be a dangerous wood cutting. Have you ever heard of that dangerous wood cutting? Yeah, I'm gonna have to do some of that. It's gonna be interesting. So I'm gonna test it myself and see how good it is. Luckily for me in Fossil Island, there is a nice handy store specifically for the fossil. So they come in small, medium, large, uh, actually plant type as well, and rare fossils. So I don't think uh, you can actually use the rare fossils yet because they haven't actually had the time to make those. But I can get the points from the small, medium, large, and plant fossils. All two points each. And I already got one set completed because if you uh, fix the camp, you get two free kudos essentially with the first set of small fossils. So in total, I need to get 12 more sets of fossils completed, which is five P's each. So at a minimum, I need to collect 60 more fossils, probably a bit more because you do not get, you know, the fossils in succession. You get random pieces like, you know, medium and they'll be like small the next time. So. Yeah, it will probably take a bit of time. Let's figure out how many fossils I can get an hour, you know, using the best strategy. So there is one teleport that you can currently use to get to Fossil Island directly, and that is to go to uh, this place called the House on the Hill. And as you can see, there's like a device there where my character is, and I just need to use the dig site pendant on that. And that just means any dig site pendant that I have now will have the ability to teleport me straight to the house on the hill which is in the fossil island and also they got this magic mush tree where there are a few uh, located across the island so if you unlock them that means you can actually use these mushrooms to traverse around the various areas in the fossil island which is pretty handy because i need to use one of those trees to get there every now and then to the swamp place so the method that i'm going to be doing to get the fossils is to cut these mushroom trees in the swamp area of Fossil Island. So these trees are pretty unique. There's only one of them in each world at a time. It's unique per person, so hopping's not gonna, you know, affect it. But yeah, the idea is pretty straightforward. You cut these mushroom trees, and once they're down, they will spawn in the next spot. So it goes in a cycle. So there's like seven spots or something where once you cut one of them, it'll spawn in the next spot, and you just gotta run in circles. One really interesting I've noticed though uh, with this new woodcutting method is that it's pretty dangerous because there's these swamp monsters, they deal typeless damage so every time you get to the tar area, you will encounter them and they hit pretty hard. They pretty much like almost never miss and unfortunately defense don't do shit against them. And also the, of course there's a deranged archaeologist so there's a spot where the you know it's near the archaeologist and yes he will attack you if he sees you but from my experience, it doesn't see you that often, but yeah, beware. So this place is pretty damn dangerous. I don't think there's any other wood kind of place that risks you of death. So imagine DCing here or something. Oh yeah, dying is pretty easy, especially if you're in the tar area. All right, so I have plenty of onyxes that I think one was from Zora and two was from Tekton, and I just have them here sitting. So I think I'm gonna do something that I never thought I would actually be doing. And that is to make myself a uh, regen bracelet because it's actually going to be pretty good for this fossil island grind just because those uh, tar monsters they hit really hard and with the uh, regen bracelet I'll be able to stay there longer so all right here we go made the onyx bracelet and turning that into the regen bracelet gonna put this to the test I haven't used it in like years oh I got this Silliest kit mushroom cap. I can use this to make mushroom pies and boost crafting level by four. Wow, this would have been pretty useful, man, if I, you know, needed to boost for anything. Cool if it came out earlier for me. So I guess this is my finalized setup for cutting these uh, Silliest skips. I had to bring the Tensile helmet because these spine mushrooms, as you can see earlier, they actually hit you and they poison you for five, so... Yeah, you definitely uh, need to have the appropriate gear if you want to, you know, do this well. It is time to get another diving level. Yeah, that's right, dude. Another one. So freaking fast. I feel like I haven't even done much diving at all. That's just how good freaking Arty Knights is nowadays. But yeah, three more levels to go, and then we got the diaries done. Come on, let me get that 15th fossil, man. 20 seconds before the hour is over. Hit me up with that good stuff.
Oh, I did. Nice, I got it. <laughs> All right, so I have done a, a full hours test, you know, a proper cutting these, and I got 15 freaking fossils, dude. That's insane. And the last test, which was a bit more rough, seemed to, you know, suggest that same amount as well. So, seems like 10 to 15 fossils an hour, guys. Really crazy. For the wood cutting, I guess, you know, people probably care about that. It's around 70k. If you could stay here for a whole hour straight without uh, banking, yeah. It's not too bad with connect XP, especially if you don't have 99 already and you need the fossils. This is the place to go. Let's add that last one here. This is the last set that I've gotten today. Voila, I'm at 165 kudos points now, so I need 15 more. But kudos goes up by 2 points from fossils, so that means... I really need 60 more points, so that is 8 more fossil sets to build in the museum. Like, do you know how easy raids would be with Soul Split? Oh my god, I got a drop! I got a drop! Holy shit, come on baby. Please, 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 please. Oh man! Fuck, dude, Dragon Hunter Crossbow, Oh. Okay, okay, Oh, Damn, it's been a while since I've gotten a drop. Well, we'll take that drop, you know, at least it wasn't a fucking Dragon Throne Axe piece of garbage, so... Yeah, it, it looks, uh, looks nice in the bank. Where is it again? I don't use it, right? Yeah. Second one, yay! Okay, we're almost getting there to, uh, 1,100 rates. I want to mention something else as well regarding the kudos grant. So if I get the 180 kudos, I'm actually going to do something else in addition to just getting my music cave back. So I'm actually going to go and invest some time doing the volcanic mine because um, next week at the time of you know this video coming out, the ultra fertile soil spell is coming out and I believe that's probably going to be in the lunar spell book. You can actually purchase that spell from the Volcanic Mine Shop for 40,000 points. Which I believe it's 4 hours or something if you do that mini game, And it's actually really nice because if I want to do farming again, I definitely want to work on the uh, Ultra Compost spell. So a lot of you guys may not have heard about the Ultra Compost, but it's essentially an upgraded version of Super Compost. And that means the chance of your uh, plants dying is even lower than super compost and also the yield like from your herbs and you know allotments is actually a lot higher as well so overall it's super useful on an iron man so so this month is almost over and that means gargoyle boss should be coming out really soon i am going to guess it's going to come out this thursday so regarding the herbal grind i should be on schedule to have the desert diary uh, ready for the gargoyle boss because i really just need to get the 91 thieving to finish the diaries the agility level is optional because i can boost to use the shortcuts so i should be on schedule to slay some kelfi queen on task while grinding for the gargoyle boss as well Honestly, there's so much to talk about though because this week Jagex has announced so many future updates like Dragon Slayer 2, Raids 2, and Amon, a few other things. You can actually learn more about this if you haven't, you know, been informed of all the big updates because I think it's important, you know, that everyone knows about it. So I'll send you a link to the uh, Old School RuneScape official website on YouTube. They have a video that, you know, just talks about the next 12 months updates and it's really interesting for sure. Anyways, I'm gonna be wrapping up today's video here guys. Thank you guys so much for watching And if you're new to series and you want to keep up to date with you know progress from this Iron Man feel free to subscribe to the channel and Hopefully I will see you guys soon with another video in a week with new content and completing some more goals. Hopefully Take care